Reasons why second language learners often find it difficult to develop speaking skills. Are you struggling to express yourself in a new language? You're not alone. Many second language learners face significant hurdles in developing their speaking skills, but the journey to fluency is within your reach. In this engaging audiobook, we'll explore the common reasons why second language learners often find it difficult to develop their speaking skills. From the fear of making mistakes to the challenge of limited vocabulary, we'll dissect the barriers that hold learners back. But it's not just about identifying the problems. We'll also discuss practical strategies to overcome these challenges and unlock your ability to communicate confidently and effectively in your second language. Whether you're a beginner or someone looking to refine your skills, this audiobook is designed to empower you on your language learning journey. Focus points. Understanding confidence barriers. Exploring the psychological aspects that prevent learners from speaking. Building vocabulary. Techniques to expand your word bank and enhance your expressiveness. The role of practice. The importance of consistent speaking practice and how to find opportunities. Cultural contexts. Navigating cultural differences to improve conversational skills. Pronunciation and listening skills. Tips for improving pronunciation and enhancing listening comprehension. Motivation and engagement. Strategies to stay motivated and engaged in your language learning. Effective feedback. How to seek and use feedback to refine your speaking abilities. Learning outcomes. By the end of this audiobook, listeners will be able to identify personal barriers to speaking in a second language and develop strategies to overcome them. Expand their vocabulary and improve their confidence in verbal communication. Create opportunities for practice and engagement with native speakers. Understand cultural nuances that affect language use and interaction. Improve pronunciation and listening skills, enhancing overall speaking proficiency. Foster a positive mindset towards language learning, focusing on progress rather than perfection. Join us on this journey to unlock your voice and embrace the joy of speaking in a new language. Focus point one, understanding confidence barriers. Exploring the psychological aspects that prevent learners from speaking. Confidence is a fundamental aspect of language acquisition, especially in speaking, where the fear of judgment and the anxiety of making mistakes can significantly hinder progress. Psychological barriers often stem from a fear of negative evaluation, leading learners to refrain from practicing their speaking skills. This phenomenon is known as the self-efficacy theory, proposed by psychologist Albert Bandura, which emphasizes the importance of belief in one's capabilities. When learners lack self-efficacy, their motivation to engage in speaking diminishes, creating a cycle of avoidance that further entrenches their anxiety. Research supports the notion that confidence directly correlates with language proficiency. A study published in the Journal of Language and Social Psychology found that students with higher self-confidence levels demonstrated better speaking abilities and were more willing to participate in conversations. Conversely, those with lower confidence often exhibited hesitation, speaking less frequently and less fluently, McCroskey, J.C., and Richmond, V.P., 1990. This indicates that addressing confidence barriers is crucial for language learners seeking to enhance their speaking skills. Anecdotal evidence illustrates how psychological barriers can manifest in real-world settings. Consider the story of a language learner named Maria, who struggled to speak English despite her extensive knowledge of grammar and vocabulary. Every time she attempted to engage in conversation, her mind raced with thoughts of judgment. What if I mispronounce a word? What if they laugh at me? This internal dialogue stifled her willingness to speak, resulting in missed opportunities to practice and grow. It wasn't until she participated in a supportive language exchange program that she began to rebuild her confidence. The positive reinforcement and encouragement from peers helped her realize that making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. Another significant aspect of confidence barriers is the imposter syndrome, a psychological phenomenon where individuals doubt their accomplishments and fear being exposed as a fraud. Language learners, especially those in advanced stages, may experience this feeling acutely, believing they should be fluent despite their limited experience. Research by Clance and Imes, 1978, 
reveals that imposter syndrome can lead to heightened anxiety and avoidance behavior. For instance, a learner who feels they must be perfect might avoid speaking altogether, opting instead to communicate through writing, thereby stunting their verbal skills. Furthermore, cultural factors can exacerbate confidence barriers. In many cultures, mistakes are viewed as signs of failure rather than opportunities for growth. This cultural perspective can instill a fear of embarrassment, leading learners to prioritize accuracy over expression. As the philosopher Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, for every minute you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. This sentiment rings true for language learners, who may waste valuable time and opportunities to practice due to their fear of making errors. To overcome these confidence barriers, it is essential to implement several strategies. Create a supportive environment. Encourage participation in language exchanges or discussion groups where learners can practice speaking in a non-judgmental setting. Positive reinforcement and peer support can help alleviate anxiety. Set realistic goals. Encourage learners to set achievable speaking goals, such as initiating a brief conversation or sharing a short personal story. Small victories can bolster confidence and motivate further practice. Normalize mistakes. Emphasize the idea that making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. Incorporating exercises that focus on common errors can help learners become more comfortable with imperfection. Practice positive self-talk. Encourage learners to replace negative thoughts with affirmations that promote self-efficacy. For instance, instead of thinking, I will embarrass myself, they might say, every time I speak, I improve my skills. Seek professional guidance. Language educators can play a crucial role in building learner confidence by providing constructive feedback and fostering an atmosphere of encouragement. By understanding and addressing the psychological barriers to speaking, learners can gradually build the confidence necessary to express themselves in their second language, ultimately enhancing their overall language acquisition journey. Focus point two, building vocabulary. Techniques to expand your word bank and enhance your expressiveness. Building a robust vocabulary is essential for effective communication in any language. A rich vocabulary allows learners to express their thoughts and ideas more clearly and precisely, enhancing overall language proficiency. However, many second language learners struggle with vocabulary acquisition due to various factors, including limited exposure and ineffective learning methods. Understanding effective techniques for expanding one's word bank can significantly improve a learner's expressiveness and confidence in speaking. Research has shown that the breadth of vocabulary directly impacts language proficiency and comprehension. A study published in the Journal of Educational Psychology found that students with a larger vocabulary tended to perform better in reading comprehension and writing tasks. Cunningham and Stanovich, 1998. This correlation highlights the importance of vocabulary in all aspects of language use, not just speaking. One effective technique for vocabulary building is contextual learning, where learners acquire new words through immersion in real-life situations. For instance, engaging with authentic materials, such as books, movies, and podcasts in the target language, allows learners to see words in context, making them easier to remember and understand. A learner named Alex, who studied French, found that watching French films helped him pick up idiomatic expressions and colloquial phrases that he would not have learned from traditional textbooks. He reported feeling more confident in conversations, as he could use these expressions naturally. Another powerful method for expanding vocabulary is the use of mnemonics, which are memory aids that help learners associate new words with familiar concepts or images. For example, a learner might visualize a giraffe to remember the French word giraffe. A study by L. E. McLeod, 2008, demonstrated that students who utilized mnemonics had significantly better recall of vocabulary compared to those who did not. This technique not only makes learning more engaging, but also reinforces retention. Active usage is also crucial for vocabulary acquisition. Encouraging learners to actively incorporate new words into their daily conversations can significantly enhance retention. For instance, maintaining a personal journal in the target language, where learners write about their day and consciously use new vocabulary, can reinforce learning. A case study involving language learners at a university 
revealed that those who kept vocabulary journals showed a marked improvement in their speaking and writing skills compared to those who did not, Schmidt, 2000. Additionally, word mapping is an effective technique for deepening vocabulary understanding. This approach involves creating visual representations of words, including synonyms, antonyms, and related concepts. For example, a learner might create a mind map for the word happy, branching out to include synonyms like joyful and content, as well as antonyms like sad and unhappy. Research has shown that visual learning can enhance memory retention and comprehension, Mayer, 2002, making this technique particularly beneficial for visual learners. Engaging with vocabulary through games and interactive activities can also make the learning process enjoyable and effective. Language apps, flashcard games, and word puzzles can motivate learners to practice regularly and reinforce their vocabulary in a fun way. A study by N.J. Lee and Y.K.T. Chan, 2018, highlighted that gamified learning environments significantly increased learner engagement and vocabulary retention. A wise perspective on vocabulary learning is captured in the assertion that words are the key to the world. By expanding their vocabulary, learners unlock new avenues for self-expression, understanding, and connection with others. As linguist David Crystal noted, language is the instrument of our thoughts. A well-developed vocabulary enables individuals to articulate their ideas more effectively, fostering better communication and understanding. To effectively build vocabulary and enhance expressiveness, learners can adopt several strategies. Engage with authentic materials. Incorporate books, films, and podcasts in the target language into daily routines to encounter new vocabulary and context. Use mnemonics. Employ memory aids to create associations with new words, enhancing retention and recall. Practice active usage. Regularly incorporate new vocabulary into conversations and writing to reinforce learning. Create word maps. Visualize words through mind maps that connect synonyms, antonyms, and related concepts, aiding comprehension. Incorporate interactive activities. Utilize language games and apps to make vocabulary practice engaging and enjoyable. By implementing these techniques, learners can significantly expand their vocabulary and improve their ability to express themselves in their second language, ultimately leading to greater fluency and confidence in their speaking abilities. Focus point three, the role of practice, the importance of consistent speaking practice and how to find opportunities. Consistent speaking practice is paramount for language learners seeking to develop fluency and confidence in their second language. The notion that practice makes perfect is especially true in language acquisition, as regular engagement in speaking activities fosters familiarity and comfort with the language. Numerous studies have demonstrated that sustained practice significantly enhances language proficiency by reinforcing neural pathways associated with speech production, comprehension, and vocabulary recall. Research published in the Modern Language Journal emphasizes the importance of speaking practice indicating that learners who actively engage in conversations are more likely to achieve higher levels of fluency and accuracy than those who do not, Lindsay, 2012. This finding aligns with the output hypothesis proposed by Merrill Swain, which posits that producing language, speaking, and writing is essential for language learning. By articulating thoughts, learners process the language more deeply, leading to greater retention and understanding. Consider the case of Sam, a university student learning Mandarin. Despite his extensive coursework and textbook knowledge, he struggled to communicate effectively during a study abroad program in China. It wasn't until he began to practice speaking regularly with native speakers that he noticed significant improvements. By participating in language exchange meetups and engaging in conversations at local cafes, Sam not only built his vocabulary, but also gained confidence in his speaking abilities. His experience illustrates the transformative power of consistent practice in real-world contexts. Finding opportunities for speaking practice can be challenging, particularly for learners who may not have immediate access to native speakers. However, technology has made it easier than ever to connect with others globally. Platforms such as Tandem and HelloTalk allow learners to engage in language exchanges with native speakers through text, voice, and video calls. These platforms facilitate authentic conversations, 
and provide learners with a chance to practice their speaking skills in a supportive environment. Moreover, local community resources can offer valuable opportunities for practice. Many cities have language clubs, conversation cafes, and cultural organizations that host events specifically designed for language learners. For instance, a case study conducted by the British Council revealed that participation in community language programs significantly improved learners speaking proficiency and confidence, British Council, 2015. Engaging with peers in a casual setting encourages learners to speak without the pressure of formal assessments, thereby promoting a more relaxed and enjoyable learning experience. Self-directed practice is another effective strategy for enhancing speaking skills. Engaging in activities such as shadowing, where learners mimic native speakers by listening to recordings and repeating what they hear, can significantly improve pronunciation and intonation. Research by Levis, 2007, indicates that this technique aids in developing phonetic awareness and enhances overall communicative competence. Incorporating speaking into daily routines also plays a crucial role in building fluency. This can include narrating daily activities in the target language, discussing opinions on current events, or even talking to oneself. Such practices create a habit of using the language regularly, which can alleviate anxiety and make speaking feel more natural over time. To encapsulate the sentiment of practice in language learning, one might consider the assertion that excellence is not a skill, it is an attitude. This perspective encourages learners to adopt a proactive approach to speaking practice, understanding that growth comes from consistent effort and willingness to engage. To maximize speaking practice and find opportunities, learners can follow these recommendations. Utilize language exchange platforms. Engage with native speakers through apps and websites that facilitate language exchanges. Participate in local language groups. Join conversation clubs or language meetups in your community to practice speaking in a supportive environment. Incorporate shadowing techniques. Listen to recordings of native speakers and practice, mimicking their pronunciation and intonation. Engage in self-directed practice. Narrate your daily activities or share your thoughts aloud in the target language to create a habit of speaking. Take advantage of online resources. Explore virtual conversation classes, webinars, and online workshops that focus on speaking skills. By prioritizing consistent speaking practice and actively seeking opportunities to engage in conversations, learners can significantly enhance their language proficiency and confidence, paving the way for more effective communication in their second language. Focus point four, cultural contexts, navigating cultural differences to improve conversational skills. Understanding cultural contexts is essential for second language learners aiming to improve their conversational skills. Language is not just a set of grammatical rules and vocabulary. It is deeply intertwined with the culture in which it is used. Cultural nuances influence how people communicate, express emotions, and engage in conversation. For learners, recognizing and adapting to these differences can significantly enhance their ability to connect with others in their target language. Research indicates that effective communication in a second language often hinges on cultural competence, which encompasses knowledge of the cultural norms, values, and practices of the target language community. For instance, learners who are aware of cultural differences in nonverbal communication, such as eye contact, body language, and gestures, can avoid misunderstandings and foster more meaningful interactions. In some cultures, prolonged eye contact may signify confidence and honesty, while in others, it might be considered confrontational or disrespectful. Consider the case of Emily, an American student studying Spanish. During her time in Spain, she initially struggled with conversational interactions. While her grammar and vocabulary were strong, she often felt lost in discussions due to her lack of understanding of Spanish cultural nuances. For instance, she learned that in Spain, small talk about personal topics, such as family and traditions, is common and serves as a bridge to deeper conversations. After recognizing this, she began to incorporate these elements into her interactions, resulting in richer and more enjoyable conversations with her peers. Additionally, understanding cultural references, humor, and idiomatic expressions can greatly impact conversational fluency. Different cultures have unique ways of expressing humor, 
and what may be humorous in one culture might not resonate in another. Familiarity with local customs, jokes, and colloquialisms can significantly enhance a learner's ability to engage in informal conversations. For example, an English learner might find it helpful to understand British humor's reliance on sarcasm and irony, which are often used in everyday interactions. Incorporating cultural knowledge into language learning can also facilitate empathy and strengthen interpersonal relationships. Learners who are aware of cultural sensitivities and social norms are better equipped to navigate conversations that might involve delicate topics. For instance, discussions about politics or religion can be sensitive in many cultures. By understanding the cultural background of these subjects, learners can approach such conversations more thoughtfully and respectfully. To enhance conversational skills through cultural context, learners can adopt several strategies. Engaging with authentic media, such as films, music, and literature, can provide valuable insights into the cultural landscape of the target language. Immersing oneself in stories and narratives allows learners to observe how language is used in various contexts, highlighting cultural references and idiomatic expressions. Additionally, participating in cultural events or community activities can deepen understanding and appreciation for the culture associated with the target language. Language learners can attend cultural festivals, workshops, or cooking classes, providing opportunities to engage in conversations with native speakers while learning about their customs and traditions. Reflecting on the idea that to understand a language is to understand a culture underscores the significance of cultural knowledge in effective communication. Language learners should recognize that mastering a language goes beyond vocabulary and grammar. It requires embracing the cultural contexts that shape communication styles and social interactions. To effectively navigate cultural differences and improve conversational skills, learners can follow these recommendations. Engage with authentic media. Watch films, listen to music, and read literature in the target language to gain insight into cultural nuances and expressions. Participate in cultural events. Attend local cultural festivals, workshops, or community gatherings to experience the culture firsthand and practice language skills with native speakers. Study cultural norms. Research the social customs, values, and communication styles of the target language community to develop cultural competence. Practice empathy. Approach conversations with an open mind and willingness to learn about cultural differences, which can foster more meaningful interactions. Seek feedback. Engage with native speakers and request feedback on language use and cultural appropriateness, helping to refine conversational skills. By embracing cultural contexts and actively seeking to understand the intricacies of communication within a specific culture, language learners can enhance their conversational skills, build stronger connections, and navigate interactions more effectively in their second language. Focus point five, pronunciation and listening skills. Tips for improving pronunciation and enhancing listening comprehension. Mastering pronunciation and listening skills is vital for effective communication in a second language. These skills are interlinked. Clear pronunciation aids in understanding spoken language, while strong listening abilities enhance one's ability to articulate sounds correctly. Therefore, learners must dedicate time and effort to develop both areas to improve overall fluency. Research indicates that pronunciation can significantly impact communication efficacy. A study conducted by During and Monroe highlights that comprehensible pronunciation is crucial for successful communication. Even if grammar and vocabulary are strong, poor pronunciation can lead to misunderstandings and hinder interactions. The researchers found that individuals with clear pronunciation were perceived as more competent and credible, underscoring the importance of this skill in language learning. Consider the case of Michael, a French learner who struggled with pronunciation. Despite having a solid grasp of grammar and vocabulary, his heavy accent made it difficult for native speakers to understand him. After recognizing this barrier, he enrolled in a phonetics workshop where he learned the intricacies of French sounds and intonation patterns. Through targeted practice, such as repeating sentences after native speakers and using tools like the International Phonetic Alphabet, IPA, Michael significantly improved his pronunciation. As a result, he became more confident in his conversations 
and received positive feedback from peers. To enhance pronunciation, learners can employ several strategies. One effective method is to practice with listening materials that include native speaker pronunciations. For instance, shadowing, where learners listen to audio and repeat simultaneously, can improve fluency and articulation. This technique not only helps learners mimic sounds, but also fosters a natural rhythm and flow in their speech. Studies have shown that shadowing can enhance both pronunciation and listening skills, as it encourages active engagement with the language. In addition to shadowing, recording oneself while speaking can be a valuable practice tool. By listening to their recordings, learners can identify areas for improvement, such as mispronounced words or awkward phrasing. This self-assessment allows for targeted practice and greater awareness of one's pronunciation patterns. Listening comprehension is equally important as it forms the foundation for effective communication. Effective listeners can pick up on nuances, tone, and emotional cues that significantly impact the meaning of conversations. Research shows that extensive listening to diverse audio materials, including podcasts, music, and films, can enhance comprehension skills. For example, learners who regularly engage with authentic materials tend to develop a more intuitive understanding of colloquialisms, slang, and idiomatic expressions, which are often overlooked in traditional classroom settings. Moreover, engaging in active listening practices can deepen understanding. This involves not just hearing the words, but also interpreting meaning through context and nonverbal cues. For instance, participating in group discussions or debates can provide learners with real-time feedback, helping them to refine their listening skills and improve their responsiveness in conversations. To encapsulate the significance of pronunciation and listening skills, the idea that to speak well is to listen well highlights the interconnectedness of these abilities. Developing strong listening skills creates a solid foundation for improved pronunciation and vice versa. To enhance pronunciation and listening skills, learners can follow these recommendations. Engage in shadowing, listen to audio from native speakers and practice, repeating their speech patterns and intonation. Utilize the IPA, familiarize oneself with the International Phonetic Alphabet to understand the sounds specific to the target language. Record and self-assess. Regularly record speaking practice to identify pronunciation issues and track improvement over time. Consume authentic media. Regularly listen to podcasts, music, and films in the target language to develop a natural ear for the language. Practice active listening. Engage in discussions, ask questions, and provide feedback to deepen listening comprehension and responsiveness. By focusing on both pronunciation and listening skills, learners can enhance their overall communicative competence, paving the way for more effective interactions and deeper connections in their second language. Focus point six, motivation and engagement strategies to stay motivated and engaged in your language learning. Maintaining motivation and engagement is crucial for successful language learning. The journey to mastering a second language can be long and challenging, often marked by periods of frustration and self-doubt. To navigate these obstacles effectively, learners must cultivate strategies that sustain their motivation and enhance their engagement in the process. Research suggests that intrinsic motivation, doing something for its inherent satisfaction rather than external rewards, plays a significant role in language acquisition. According to a study by Desi and Ryan, learners who are intrinsically motivated are more likely to set personal goals and actively seek out learning opportunities, leading to deeper understanding and retention of the language. This contrasts with extrinsic motivation, where learners may pursue language skills for external rewards such as grades or job prospects, which can sometimes lead to disengagement if those rewards are not immediate. Take the case of Sarah, a university student who began learning Japanese. Initially motivated by her desire to travel to Japan, she soon found herself overwhelmed by the complexity of the language. Instead of giving up, she decided to engage with Japanese culture through anime and music, transforming her language learning into a source of enjoyment. By connecting her studies to her interests, Sarah reignited her passion for learning and found herself more dedicated to her studies. Goal setting is a powerful motivational tool that can help learners maintain focus and track progress. Research by Locke and Latham 
emphasizes the importance of specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound SMART goals in fostering motivation. For instance, rather than setting a vague goal like, I want to improve my speaking, learners might aim to have a 10-minute conversation with a native speaker by the end of the month. This clear target provides a sense of direction and a tangible benchmark for progress. Creating a supportive learning environment also plays a vital role in motivation. Engaging with peers, whether through language exchange partners, study groups, or online forums, can provide encouragement and accountability. A study published in the Journal of Language Learning highlights the positive impact of social interaction on language motivation, indicating that learners who engage with others are more likely to remain committed to their studies. Additionally, incorporating variety into the learning process can help sustain interest and motivation. Using diverse resources such as podcasts, videos, and interactive language apps can make learning more enjoyable and dynamic. Research shows that exposure to different learning modalities can enhance retention and comprehension, ultimately making the language acquisition process more effective. Reflecting on the idea that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step emphasizes the importance of small, consistent actions in the language learning process. By taking incremental steps and celebrating small victories, learners can cultivate a sense of achievement that fuels ongoing motivation. To foster motivation and engagement in language learning, learners can implement the following strategies. Set SMART goals. Establish clear, specific, and measurable goals to track progress and maintain focus on language learning. Connect with interests. Integrate personal interests, such as music, films, or literature, into language studies to enhance enjoyment and relevance. Engage with others. Participate in language exchange partnerships or study groups to create a supportive community and increase accountability. Diversify learning resources. Use a variety of materials, such as apps, podcasts, and books, to keep the learning experience dynamic and interesting. Celebrate small wins. Acknowledge and celebrate progress, no matter how small, to foster a sense of accomplishment and motivation. By prioritizing motivation and engagement in their language learning journey, learners can navigate challenges more effectively and enjoy a richer, more rewarding experience. Through these strategies, they will not only develop their language skills, but also cultivate a lifelong love for learning. Focus point seven, effective feedback how to seek and use feedback to refine your speaking abilities. Effective feedback is essential for honing speaking abilities in a second language. It provides learners with valuable insights into their strengths and areas for improvement, facilitating targeted practice and skill development. To maximize the benefits of feedback, learners must actively seek it out and implement it constructively in their language journey. Research indicates that feedback enhances learning outcomes by clarifying performance expectations and identifying areas needing attention. A study by Hattie and Timperley highlights that feedback can significantly improve student learning when it is specific, timely, and actionable. For instance, rather than simply saying, you need to improve your speaking, more effective feedback might specify, work on your pronunciation of vowel sounds to enhance clarity. This type of targeted feedback gives learners clear direction for their practice. Consider the journey of Carlos, a Spanish learner who struggled with conversational fluency. Initially hesitant to seek feedback, he eventually joined a local language exchange group. There, he received constructive criticism from peers who pointed out his frequent misuse of certain verb tenses. By actively asking for feedback after each session, Carlos was able to focus his practice on those specific areas. Over time, he noticed significant improvement in his speaking abilities, illustrating how proactive engagement with feedback can lead to progress. Effective feedback can be categorized into two main types, formative and summative. Formative feedback occurs during the learning process and is aimed at guiding improvement. This can include peer evaluations, self-assessment, or feedback from language tutors. Summative feedback, on the other hand, typically occurs after a learning period and evaluates overall performance. For example, a formal speaking test may provide summative feedback that assesses fluency, pronunciation, and grammar. To create an environment conducive to receiving feedback, learners should adopt a mindset of openness and growth. 
Embracing the idea that feedback is a tool for improvement, rather than criticism, can foster resilience and motivation. Research by Dweck emphasizes the significance of a growth mindset in learning, where individuals believe their abilities can be developed through effort and perseverance. Engaging in self-reflection is also an effective way to complement external feedback. After speaking practice, learners can reflect on their performance by asking themselves questions such as, what went well? And what aspects could I improve? This self-reflection can deepen the understanding of one's strengths and weaknesses, allowing learners to tailor their practice more effectively. The concept that feedback is the breakfast of champions underscores the fundamental role of feedback in the learning process. By actively seeking and utilizing feedback, learners can refine their speaking skills and enhance their overall proficiency in the language. To effectively seek and use feedback for refining speaking abilities, learners can adopt the following strategies. Ask specific questions. When seeking feedback, pose specific questions about aspects like pronunciation, grammar, or fluency to receive actionable insights. Participate in language exchanges. Engage with native speakers or fellow learners in language exchange settings where constructive feedback is encouraged and valued. Record and review. Record speaking sessions and review them critically to identify areas for improvement, allowing for a blend of self-reflection and external feedback. Create a feedback loop. Establish a routine where learners regularly receive and act upon feedback, whether through formal assessments or informal conversations with peers. Maintain a growth mindset. Embrace feedback as an opportunity for growth rather than as criticism, fostering a positive attitude toward learning. By prioritizing effective feedback in their language learning process, learners can accelerate their speaking development and build greater confidence in their communication skills. This commitment to continuous improvement not only enhances language proficiency, but also enriches the overall learning experience. As we conclude our exploration of the challenges faced by second language learners in developing their speaking skills, it's essential to reflect on the critical themes we've covered throughout this audiobook. The journey to becoming a confident and effective speaker in a second language requires a strong sense of purpose, inspiration, and leadership. Here's a recap of the key focus points. Understanding confidence barriers. Exploring the psychological aspects that prevent learners from speaking. Building vocabulary. Techniques to expand your word bank and enhance your expressiveness. The role of practice, the importance of consistent speaking practice, and how to find opportunities. Cultural contexts, navigating cultural differences to improve conversational skills. Pronunciation and listening skills, tips for improving pronunciation and enhancing listening comprehension. Motivation and engagement, strategies to stay motivated and engaged in your language learning. Effective feedback. How to seek and use feedback to refine your speaking abilities. To achieve lasting success in language learning, it's vital to set clear objectives that guide your practice. Seek inspiration from successful language learners, mentors, or educators who can lead you on this journey. Engage in conversations, immerse yourself in the language, and actively seek opportunities to apply what you learn. Practical recommendations include Establishing SMART goals set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals for your language learning journey. Creating a learning community. Connect with fellow learners or native speakers to foster a supportive environment that encourages speaking practice. Utilizing technology. Leverage language learning apps and platforms to access diverse speaking opportunities and receive immediate feedback. Embracing mistakes. View mistakes as learning opportunities rather than failures. This mindset will help you grow more resilient and confident in your speaking abilities. Reflecting on our overall learning experience, the topics covered highlight the multifaceted nature of language acquisition. Each focus point contributes to a comprehensive understanding of what it takes to communicate effectively in a second language. Thank you for your time and interest in this audiobook. Your commitment to improving your language skills is commendable. If you found this content valuable, please like, subscribe, and share the audiobook with others on the same journey. Remember, the more you listen, the better you speak. Keep engaging with the language, and you'll undoubtedly see progress in your speaking abilities. Together, 
Let's embrace the path to fluency and inspire one another along the way.